So this is part 154 and it's line 18A, 3Z, 2B, 3. And it's ISCGS 01, Geoglyph Prehistoric Shelters, Obsidian Flake, Cert Biface, Koha, Well Study. Okay, and there's the SETI radio signal there. I got some pictures of here of some obsidian in different forms that it's, it's found as stone tools, they call them. So, quote, on the actual site, an obsidian flake and nodule and a cert biface, all of rock not from the region, were found as well as historic mining debris, pits, and a horseshoe. Three apparently prehistoric rock shelters were found on the small limestone hill in the northern part of the project area, as well as rock walls and cairns on both this hills and the larger metamorphic hill. Cairns may be of both Native American and minor in origin. A strange agnamic geoglyph, ISCGS01, was found next to the metamorphic hill on a small hill next to the middle of the project site. So I looked up a geoglyph, I wasn't sure what it was. So a geoglyph is a large design or motif, generally greater than 4 meters, produced on the ground and typically formed by plastic, plastic rocks, or similar durable elements of the geography such as stone, stone, fragments, gravel, or earth. So ancient, uh, the most famous geoglyphs are in the Nazca lines in Peru. Despite numerous hypotheses, it is due to the lack of documentation not clear what the cultural significance of the geoglyphs for the creator was. So basically it's saying they don't know why these things are there on the ground and why, what their reason is. They still haven't figured that out according to this Wikipedia. And here is a prehistoric rock shelter of Bim... Vecta, Vecta. Check out the designs of them. They're pretty intricate. Very beautiful. They had a very good eye for artwork and architect. And then we have this here. These are called lithic cert bifaces. That's what they look like. So in archaeology, a biface is a two-sided stone tool and is used as a multi-purpose knife manufactured through a process of lithic reduction that displays flake scars on both sides. So they chisel away at the stone to make it into like a sharp tool. So here's the plan of an ISCGS-01 geoglyph from the FSADEIS. And here's a triangular filled rock feature. A geoglyph from ISEGS-01. That's what it looks like. And that's from the basin and rangewatch.org. February 28th, my thoughts. Looking at this quote from Wikipedia's definition of a geoglyph, despite numerous hypotheses, it is due to the lack of documentation, not clear, what the cultural significance of the geoglyphs for their creators was. I have no idea why this came up, but I'm assuming, since it's a mystery, the ancient astronauts from Maya can answer this question. We will probably find out in the WOW study data what the cultural significance might be. Or we might have it come up in the crop circles data after I finish filming lines 1 to 27 in the WOW study and alien message meanings video blogs. So I googled Koha 81 and on Wikipedia it says Koha Belize is a Maya archaeological site located in northern portion of the country about 52 km kilometers north of Belize city near the city of Orange Walk. The site is one of the easiest, one of the earliest in the Maya region and remains important to the archaeological record of the Maya culture while into the post-classic period. According to the Palma Bottles, archaeological evidence from Kolhash allows for the interpretation occupation from the early pre-ceramic 3400 to 1900 BC to middle post-classic AD 1150 to 1300 with population peaks occurring in the late pre-classic, 4000 BC and 8 to 100 AD. And again in the late classic, AD 600 to 850, these peaks in population are directly related to the presence of stone tool workshops at the site. Coal Hall's proximity to an important source of high quality SERP that is found in the territory limestone of the region and well-traveled trade routes was utilized by the inhabitants to develop a niche in the Maya trade market that may have extended to the Greater Antilles. 
So they had trade routes that they walked on to get from one place to another, right? So during the late pre-classic and late classic periods, Kohlhaas served as a primary supplier of worked stone tools for the region. So they would walk to this one place to look for these stone tools for their whole area. So it has been estimated that the 36 workshops at Kohal produced nearly 4 million cert and obsidian tools and eccentrics that were dispersed throughout Mesoamerica during the Maya era. So they had 4 million uh, tools created. This made it an important player in the trade of essential goods throughout the area. So they had a trade set up there, right? So February 28, 2012, my thoughts. I just had a strong impression come to me. When I saw the picture of an arrow filled with rocks, I assumed it was a direction indicator in this photo. See, it looks like an arrow pointing a certain direction, right? We have road signs to show us where our streets and shopping malls are, or names of cities. What if that's what this geoglyph is for? There's some obsidian arrows. It's like you could take obsidian arrows and show where you could get a tool since they were only made in certain parts. They would create a road map with the geoglyphs or along the trails. They would have like these arrows along the trails to show which direction to walk, right? Geoglyph rock formations. Showing which direction to walk or ride a horse to get there. The best way to prove my theory is to map out the locations of where the geoglyphs were found in relation to where archaeological digs find areas where tools were made or produced based on the evidence of sites found. And here's the map of... That's where that triangle was found. And then we have, there's a, here's a pathway here. And this is going to a three-tiered rock feature. So this is a rock outcrop. This is a collected quartz cobbles. Here's the niche one rock outcrop, niche two, niche three. So there's a terraced rock feature. And then here's a tiered three, uh, two-tiered rock feature. It's got another thing. And dry stock rock wall, large rock or create bedrock. So I'm wondering if, if this means go this direction, and this would mean you need to go up this hill down and then back up again. And this one here would be you have to walk around water. This would be water, and this would be a mountain, maybe. It's just a guess. That's my guess, anyways. And here's the video titles that all these videos. All these videos are related to each other. I took the data and divided them up into nine videos for you, okay? So go to the next one.